said so fixing my iphone or changing the battery myself i don't know if you guys are familiar with the uh, iphone gate or battery gate apple gate christina applegate i don't know what they're calling it but pretty much it well if you own an iphone which i have like for years like i think i got the like the first iphone and since then i've always only had an iphone i definitely didn't have like every one like i don't get every one that comes out i usually wait like a model or two and then um or two or three models rather and then like jump on on one but um you realize that when a new model comes out or definitely like the third model after it or the second model after the one that you have slows down like it's not as responsive the touchscreen isn't as good the apps take longer to load and people have always like speculated that you know apple's just like zapping your phone with some like some shit to like slow it down and fuck it up so that you you know it entices you you know to get a new phone and buy one of their new newly available phones like oh shit hey your phone's fucked up hey look at this new shiny one that we're selling coincidentally at the same exact time but it was all like speculation and shit so then it came out actually that they were slowing phones down but this is their um paraphrasing but their official response is something along the lines of the batteries in the phones last about two years from there the battery life is is dramatically less our way to compensate for that so that you don't so that you're able to get a full day's worth of phone usage from that battery that is drained is for us to slow down your phone or make it you know less responsive so that you can be able to use your phone for at least a day get a day's worth of use out of it because if not then it'll drain in you know in a short period of time which was actually happening to my phone and you, you know like i would charge it and normally you know i would like listen to podcasts or, or like write on my phone on the scrivener writing app which has been dope by the way i continue to to uh recommend that to anybody who's into writing and um you know and it's usually you know fine like when i when i get to work but lately um since the battery has gotten like so much like weaker i have a iphone 6 maybe 6s but i think the 6 um the like the battery would just like drain like let's say i would have it at 100 and normally before performance wise maybe it'll be like in the 80s or 90s like by the time i get to work like 40 minutes later so like half hour worth of use type of thing but lately with the battery being all fucked up and shit that shit dropped to would drop to like 20s you know go into like the power save mode shit that orange yellow thing or whatever and um it was fucked up and the fucked up thing about it because i guess the, there's logic behind that right it sounds like bullshit but there's some logic behind it and i know the battery definitely doesn't work the way it used to like you constantly had to like charge it unless they were doing something to fuck up the battery which is just dirty <laughs> but um the fucked up thing is that you know they were this only came out because of the like the scrutiny that was put on them for the slows being slowed down and stuff like that and they even to like compensate for it a bit they used to sell the replacement of the batteries like you can take an old iphone to an iphone store and get a brand new battery and supposedly it's going to work the same um for the price before it was like 75 or 85 bucks or something like that and now and they dropped the price to like 25 or 35 bucks in order to like change the battery now the whole this whole thing unfolded after i actually changed the battery myself because the phone was the new phones came out and i have the six and the the eight and the ten came out but i was contemplating getting the seven because like when they for example they come out with a with a new phone the you know previous phone gets substantially like discounted and 
I had the one before that even. So it would be an upgrade for me, but I would get it like at a you know a good decent price. So I was gonna do that. And my phone was just like acting up like so much. The battery was drained, like it was shit. So before doing that though, I was like, fuck it. Let me see if I can just change it myself. Cause you know, what do they do? They open up the phone, plug a battery in. You know, how hard could it be? So I like Googled it. Surely enough, there was like a shitload of videos about it, how to do it, do it yourself guides and shit like that. And there's even like whole kits that you can buy, which I bought on Amazon for like 25 bucks, which includes the battery, includes all the tools for the weird like little screws, like custom screws and shit like that. Little custom screwdrivers. They sell you and the little thing to like lift the screen and a little suction cup thing, like the whole line, every single thing they need in order to, to change your battery. And they had it on on Amazon for 25 bucks. There's a video of someone that I found and I'll actually link to all the shit in the episode notes in case you guys are interested um, to try it out yourselves because they have it for like every type of phone um, or at least every different like type of iPhone. I'm, I'm sure you can find like for other phones as well. And this video is like the person using like the exact same kit. So it's not like, you know, you buy a kit, you might not have all the same pieces as in the video and stuff like that and whatever. So it was like an exact step by step and, you know, 25 bucks. And um, this is when the alternative was only changing the battery directly with Apple, which was like 75 or 85 bucks to do. So I was like, I'm not going to spend 75 bucks. And then I changed the battery and then I find out that the phone is still slow as shit just because it's like the operating system or whatever because even though you op- you update the new operating like system and stuff like that it still doesn't work the same on the old phones which that part i think is still purposeful but whatever i figured um i don't want to waste the 75 bucks to change the battery and then find that out let me and then wind up having to get a new phone anyway let me just risk it and change it myself it looks easy enough 25 bucks and if it doesn't work I'll just order the phone that I was about to order anyway. And um, I ordered it, watched the video a bunch of times. And the kit comes with like little instructions too. I read that just to like bridge the gap between the two, between like the video and and instructions in the booklet just to see if they if they matched or like bridge the gap like where they it didn't match and go with whichever version sounded like it would work better. And um i changed it and then i put the phone back together and i couldn't see the screen it was like bricked it was like fucked the phone (laughs) and um then i opened it up again like the screen has like you know it has like those uh, um like motherboard like chips that click into like the motherboard like that green mother motherboard thing I don't know how to describe it, um, but there's like little black microchip looking things, and you have to click them like in the right spots, and they'll click in, but it's not necessarily like in the right location, you know what I mean, and um, I had to like put them on, take them off, put them on, take them off, and then close the phone up again, and then it was working, but it had like, I finally got it to work, but it had like some some like lines on the screen like going like vertically like through the screen which looked like shit but at least the phone worked so i kind of like left it like that because i didn't want to like fuck up the phone to the point that it wasn't gonna work and i was like whatever i've been at it for for a while um i was like extra extra like careful with this so it took me like almost an hour but you can do it in like 20 minutes half hour and um all the buttons worked and everything like that but then i noticed the next day the like the lines on the screen were like fucking up like the texting so i couldn't use like all the letters like in like by the line so i couldn't use the letters like c and v and r and f and like i would type i would click on them but it would like register as an h or something you know what i mean so it was like fucked up so then that night when i got home i disconnected everything again tried it again and fuck with it a bunch and then it actually worked and it's working perfectly the battery life is back to how it used to be before and the phone is still it's much better it it's it's working fine like i'm gonna keep this phone um but i do notice that the like the response time although it's much better 
l- like it feels like a little laggy still. Like it's not as as like quick and sharp as a brand new phone. But whatever, for twenty five bucks, I extended the life of it for I'm guessing at least at least another few months, or hopefully as long as like the battery lasts, which supposedly is like two years, just like the the original ones. But anyway. I just thought that was interesting. Wanted to share it with you fine folks. And um, I'll link uh, in the episode notes to uh, to the video that I use and, and uh, the kit that you guys can buy to do it yourselves as well if you're having the same issue. And, of course, if you have the cojones to take apart your iPhone and do it yourself. Dave Chappelle. <laughs>